Hello Year One, Mrs Hamilton here. Hope you're all keeping well and safe. So we've got our last week of two coding um, in Purple Mash. So see if you can remember what the word is that goes with this description here. So the description, the word meaning is a precise step-by-step -step set of instructions that we use to solve a problem or to achieve an objective. Who can remember what that word is in computing? Anybody? Let's have a little look if you can't quite remember. It is algorithms. Okay, we use algorithms in two coding okay, to achieve an objective or to solve a problem. And we've got some objectives that we need to achieve a day today in um, Purple Mash. We've got a few more word meanings to introduce to you as well. So let's have a look at those. So I've got when clicked when clicked so you might have looked at this last week as well when we were trying to move the fish so the when clicked is an event command and it makes the code run when you click something so last week it was fishes this week it's when you click a bubble something's going to happen to the bubble okay so we need to keep that in mind and then we've got the word input okay so input is information going into the computer an input could be the user so yourself, moving or clicking the mouse or entering characters on the keyboard. Um, and this makes things happen. So that's an input. An output is the information that comes out of the computer. It might be a sound, for example. So the output would be we would hear some sound. Or in this case, um, it's with the bubbles. We, the bubble would disappear or reappear. Okay, So that would be the output. So let's have a little look in Purple Mash. So when you log on, don't forget it's your name at the top box and then your password in the second box and then click Login. Okay, so you go to your to-dos. got several to-dos. Okay. And the one that we're talking about now is called Bubbles. That's the to-do we're going to have a little look at now. So let's have a click on there. So you've got your four different challenges to try and complete. Okay, so let's click on the first one and see if we can work it out. So as usual, we've got our um, instruction that we can play here to have a listen to. And we've got hints as well. I'm going to show you this one. So we've got make the bubble move up. That's our challenge. So we've only got the bubble um, code here. So we drag that using our trackpad and our cursor. We drag that over to here. And when it highlights in yellow, we release it. And so we've got bubble and then a question mark. And we've got all these different directions we can use here. So we've got up, down, left, right, hide and show. But our challenge is to make the bubble move up. So which code do we need here? We need the code up. And let's click on the green arrow to see if that works. So we can see that our bubble is moving up and we can see that we've completed the challenge because it says next challenge here. And also down here, it says success challenge completed. So let's go back up here and click on next challenge. So the next challenge is when you click the bubble, make it disappear. Okay, so this is where we're going to have our input and output. Okay, so our input needs to be the coding here to make the bubble disappear when we clicked it and the output will be the bubble actually disappearing. So we need to start this set of coding underneath the bubble up and it needs to start with the when clicked code. So using our trackpad and cursor again, we'll click on there and drag it across and release so when clicked and we only have the option of bubble because that's all that's the only object that's in our um, screen at the moment so we click on bubble and then with this code in here so when clicked bubble the next line of coding has to read bubble first so when clicked bubble bubble and then another set of code in there so we'll go over here we'll drag the bubble across and then we've got the options again of up, down, left, right, hide or show. Now, to make it disappear, we want it to hide. We want it to, to, to pop. 
So the only option here is to use this hide coding. So we click on that and then let's press our green arrow to see if we've got it correct. So the bubble starts to move. Now this is quite tricky, so get your cursor in place. Okay, and then when you're ready and the bubble comes across, click on it and it disappears. Okay, and again, you know that you've been successful because here it says challenge completed. Excellent. And we've got here next challenge. So we'll click on that. So the next challenge, it says help <gasps> the wrong bubbles pop. I'm trying to make the bubbles pop when you click them. But when you click a bubble, a different bubble disappears. Can you help me fix it? Let's see if we can. Okay, so all the bubbles are moving. Okay, and we've got to be able to fix it. So the first thing we've got to do is to read through the coding and see if we've got them all in the correct order. So we've got red bubble up, green bubble up, pink bubble up, blue bubble up. The next lot of coding says when clicked red bubble, blue bubble, Hides. Hmm. What do you think is not quite right there? If you remember the code that we had before, we had when clicked pink bubble, pink bubble hide. So what do you think we need to have here? We've got when clicked red bubble. What colour bubble should be here? <gasps> have a little think. That's correct, it needs to be the red bubble. So if you click on here, okay, it will give you the option of the different coloured bubbles. So we've got when clicked red bubble, so we need to choose red bubble to hide. Okay, now I'm going to pause the recording or ask you to pause the recording and see if you can complete that. Okay, and I'll see you at the next challenge. Good luck. Hi guys, I hope you got on well with the last challenge. Now, if your screen says this, then you have been successful. So really, really well done, okay? And if you're finding it difficult, message me and I'll be able to help you, okay? So it's not a problem. Okay, so the next one, it says, in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the clever monkey is king. Are you ready for the next challenge? Yes, let's say yes, let's go for this. So lesson completed, let's click on OK because this is the last challenge, the final challenge. Okay, make your own bubble program. You could try making the bubbles change direction instead of popping and you can also design um, a mode to move or add other bubbles. Okay, pretty much like the fish last week. So let's click OK. So we can add some sound here. Okay, um, we've got our bubbles all moving here. We can, if we want to, when the bubble hides, okay, we could add some sound going on, on here. So we've got when clicked pink bubble, pink bubble, okay, we could add some sound, okay, so we could, if you click on the um, question mark, it gives you all different sounds here, so it might be that we want to choose the bang, okay, and if you click on the number one, it'll give you options if you use the arrows to go up, and down, you can make it, um, make that sound as many times as you like. And then you could maybe decide that the bubble's not going to hide, that the bubble is going to um, change direction. So it might then start to go right, okay? I won't show you more, you can do as much as you like, but if I press play, okay, and then let's have a look at the pink bubble and see what happens, see what output we get. There are bubbles. My pink bubble's going to come up here. Okay, so then you see that when I clicked the pink bubble three times, it made the um, bang sound. Now, if you remember, there's lots of different sounds that you could put on here, and I look forward to seeing and hearing all those different um, sounds and things that you do to your um, program. Good luck, guys, and I look forward to seeing them all. Well done. See you soon. Bye-bye.